John.
You don't have a pocket knife on you by chance, do you? Yeah. Can we cut the twisty ties? Sir, please. I'm gonna take this off. That way I can let the camera rest for a while. There's four of them, so you might have to cut like at least four of them. The other tied, unless you have a trick. Is it alright that I stand out here? Mm -hmm. We're just about to cross Lovato. Yeah, just hold on tight. Thanks, John. Yep. This is raw tunnel that we're in right now. It's gonna be dark for a while. We don't have any lighting in here. So this is all the light you get from up there and then we're in here and then next one is mud tunnel. Huh? This one and the next one up ahead. Yep. There you go, full we'll season view of Toltec Gorge. Because the mountain right here was blasted with dynamite. Yeah. This is all that name. 
U.S. Army did this for us, the military, when we were building this line. For their practice runs, would come out here and make holes for us. Now, mud tunnel is a whole different story. Yep, the one that's made all out of mud with um, railroad ties holding it up. Yep, because it's a support beam along the whole tunnel. You'll see it when we go through. Because the entrance even has the railroad ties on it. I think we're coming up. We should be coming up to it pretty soon. The tunnels are real close to each other. thing you don't want to do is lose your phone out here because you yeah. cannot recover it. There's no road down through Toltec Gorge at all. card number two anyways. I filled up a whole SD card on the first card. Worth an hour worth of footage, yeah. All the way from Chama. I was recording all the way up to Lovato. And then I would do it between the pass and stuff. Okay, so who cares? I don't. Plus, this goes on to YouTube, so I'm not real worried about it. After it's done, I process it. So what I do is I upload it raw. I don't even edit it. I leave it as is. Yep. Because a lot of people said it's better unedited than edited. Which I've learned. careful of these trees. Yeah. I believe it's coming up. Rock tunnel. Oh, that gorge. My tunnel. Yeah, it should be next. Because that one is not as dark as this one was. Probably see it when on your end when we make the curve. Yeah, yeah, it's still yep. So it's on the along the straighter way or no I think we have the curve and then my tunnel. It was right before um another like tanglefoot curve but we're going to go through whiplash curve so it should be coming up after that or unless
coming from my tunnel. My tunnel? Yeah. They know we just went through Rock Tunnel. It's going to take about 9 minutes, 8 minutes. That's what um, I was wondering. About 2 miles. Yeah. Do you think 168 is out running today? Uh, no, but she was yesterday. I know she was out yesterday. Did you get pictures of her? I wasn't here. Oh wait, how far did she go? Uh, 287 and a half. Yeah, I see was I was the, in... I was on the curb. Oh, see I was in Chama, I missed it. Oh man. Now, they're not going to be running tomorrow, or today, but they might tomorrow. Yeah. So, I don't think I'll be on the curb for that one. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah. If you can, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm off to Durango. Oh, that's a Sadly. You buy your tickets already? I'm just going up to Rail Fence for the night. Oh, cool. But yeah, that was fun going through Rock Tunnel. Uh, yeah. I never been went through it before. Oh, you just did you? Uh... follow us back to Ozer. He's going back to Ashnito. Like we are. This is the Los Pinos River, or lake as we call it now. Usually this whole pasture is flooded. flooded. It's underneath the water down the time. But now since we're in the fall, and we even hit down a bunch of rain up here, that's what it's going to be at. Get snow this season that we were hoping for, and this whole area will be under water again. Because we've had actually water come up almost to the track. And let me say this it's not fun when you have to go through wet track. These are old railroad ties that used to be right here. They're, they're heavy, they're too heavy. You can't. Well, they are. They're over a hundred pounds. You know, you want to know how many it takes? You want to know how many it takes to pick up one of those? Four. That's right there.
track down below that we're going to be going on. We're going to do a scoop up ahead. The dozer is down back there.
back to Chama. But I'm going all the way now. Oh, good. It's time for a change. I've if seen you're, her. If you're hanging out, and are you taking the bus back to Chama? Yep. Okay. I was going to say, if you're hanging out, you should slide me down. Because um, what time does the bus, what, what time are we due to get in? Five, I think. And the bus leaves, gets back to Chama at six. Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? Yeah. So we don't even have much time to look around at Antonio, do we? Not really. I say if you if you hurry, the lighting will be real uh, will be real nice to get some shots of 168. And the rotary, because that's out. So they had to clean up the book box to make sure that the uh, yeah for the rotary yeah, yeah they could make sure that it was all ready for the inspector. So I guess we got that job. You? I feel sorry for you. I thought it would take two hours. I thought it would take two or three hours at the most. It's really? Two days. Two days, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, we missed it earlier through the um, before we got to Osher. Two planes flew right through the canyon. Oh, cool. Yeah, we had two Air Force. Did you see what kind of planes they were? Or? They had four propellers on them. Oh, probably C-130s. C-130s, yeah, I think that's what it was. They test in here all the time. How are they able to fly through here with these? In a way. Um, they can't. Not really. No. I mean, they're just flying through the narrow canyon. Built They'll turn them on their side and fly and pull that door. Now that is amazing to see. And how they navigate it to the other side oh, yeah. without crashing. Well, that's the whole. This is a whole training ground for them. Here, yeah. For uh, Afghanistan. And Baghdad. Yeah. The first time I've all the way through, huh? Welcome. Thank you. This is my home side here. Yeah. See, I'm at, my home side is Chama. Oh, cool. I'm in Albuquerque, so three hours away. Yeah, At least one good thing is, yesterday I was out pulling weeds. Mm -hmm. The cold triple track was so bad. Oh my goodness. It's still worse. There's double the weeds that I pulled. Remember the fence? Yep. Oh, cool. How's it going? Good. How's it going? Oh. Fine. Oh, oh, Phantom Curve or yeah. something like that? Yeah. Where all that. Where all the derailments happened. No, no, that's a. Look at that derailment up at Phantom. Yeah, but uh, the real thing was that Toltec, or the. What's that called? Calico cut. I get over there. Calico cut, yeah. That has been given us pain for, uh, what, 130, 139 years now? Because of that cut? Sliding down on it. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can see it. This one, too, here. Not as much. No. Whatever happened to those cars after the accident? I guess they were scrapped. Oh, they're still coming. Huh? The uh, sheep cars? Were they sheep cars or passenger cars? Uh, which accident were you talking about? Because there were two that happened. The there. one that happened at Phantom Curve was the one train that was at night coming through. Uh, the um, the head-on? 169 and 411? Yeah. Uh, 169's is actually an Alamosa. I know it's an Alamosa. Uh, so they pulled that one out, but I'm pretty sure they took the torch to 411. Yeah, because um, 411 is no more. They yeah. said it's not even anymore. I'm pretty sure they just busted up and keep running. Is it, wasn't that an express train or something? Express and a freight head on. I wonder what ever happened to the express cars. If they're uh, still down where they are. If uh, There's still freight car bodies down there. It wasn't here, it was actually a little further that way. Yeah. Uh, it, was just, it, was, it was between Rock Tunnel and uh, California. I wonder if you guys are ever going to bring those freight cars up from down there. Uh, not. Do you think they're still in good condition even? No. I mean, we've got... That we've got better condition freight cars that need restoration here. Yeah. In the yards. They're going to make those out of a canyon. True. Angle, but yeah. Would it be there. worth displaying them at least? Maybe. See, I think that would be. A, I think that would be more of a like a, one of the joint um, projects with the friends. To get yeah. The friends but how would we get down there exactly to go get them? Now there's the real thing. <laughs> you can't go from Osher out there. Or could you? I think you could run a 
I think you could run a, um, a flat with a train bolted onto it. You know that, uh, you know that, uh, work, that work train that they have, uh, an old diesel work train from the, uh, they used to do a shop up in the restoration shed if you ever get a chance to take a look at it. Yeah, but, uh, I'll bet you that would probably be started up on this side, pulled over to Antonito, put them up there. Yeah. But I don't think it'll happen for another 20 years if, if they still last this long. There we go. They're probably in worse condition than we thought. Phantom Curve. Phantom Curve. Big uh, Big oh, dangerous yeah. zone. Oh, Phantom Curve's actually been pretty good to us. You got lucky. Yeah. All this rock likes to stay where it is. Yeah. I'm going to take a quick picture and then I'll get out of your way. That's so fine. Beautiful country, you know? It's God's country. Yeah. yeah. A little flat spot right there. Yeah. That's one of the little, uh, little uh, summer cabin. Wait, where? That little flat spot. I'd love to put a little summer cabin right there. Oh, yeah. Good luck with that. Now, where do you live? Do you live in Antonito? Or do you live in Antonito? Yeah. And you do this all summer long? All summer long, then I go back to Dallas. Are you going to school out there? Or to your family? Nah, it's just where, just where I live right now. Oh, okay. How far out west do you want to go? No, not yet. I might even move up to New England somewhere. It all depends. My wife's still in school. She's on her last semester of her neuroscience degree. So we're looking at grad school for her right now. Not bad. So it depends on where. Yeah, it does. It also depends on the money. Yeah. <laughs> we will pay her. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Uh -huh. Almost to 80 pounds of pressure. What's up? We're almost to 80 pounds of pressure on the brakes. Filling them back up. Huh? Filling them back up. Yep. And it was at 90 when we got up here. Oh, sir. They did the running brake test. Huh? You did the running brake test, check it all in. Yep. This isn't the side you have to worry too much about, anyway. We don't have anything steeper than a one and a half. Yep. Do you hear RGS-20 is back at, um, Colorado Road Museum? Oh, really? He's back. Oh, nice. They're finishing up the rest of the work there. And they did a steam up test on her. Ooh. She can run under her own power. She's right. certified at 120 psi. That's what she's certified at. That's not bad. No, and good she's coming here. Power. We actually have she plans. Her? Yeah. Well, she's that. not completely finished yet. They don't have the cab on her yet. They still have other things to put on her, but yeah. How long she be? On, how long she been underway? I, I, I say. Many months. Strasburg had her for a while. Strasburg, you said? Strasburg did the full main boiler work. Ah, uh, Strasburg was doing all that. Yeah. I should have sent her here. I guess we would have need more staff. But we're hoping to one of these days be off like that for the, especially for the narrow gauge stuff. Yeah. Pretty cool. We must be coming up to something for them to be whistling. Huh? Stand right here and we just stop going into the tunnel. Oh, that's right, my tunnel. Yep. Fast 311. Huh? Fast 311. Yep, my post 311. I'm 
going after RJ41 at not very far. They never run that engine anymore. Do you want to buy it? <laughs> uh, I'm actually uh, trying to acquire it. DNS shop crew own it. Really? Yeah, they're old timers that used to that still work at Drango own RJ41. So they're just loving it basically, I mean basically it's a static model over there. It runs. Oh, it does run? Yeah. But oh. I want to get it out of there and turn it right back to coal. It's an oil burner. Wow. It shouldn't be too hard to turn it back to oil. Only oil. Tri- the only locomotives that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as it. Huh? Only engines that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as it. I don't like what they're doing with their uh, K-37 over there at the DNS. Well, they have to do that lawsuit. And the fire. Oh yeah, here comes Glenn Huddle. Yeah. They said DNS started it. Yeah, they did. Yep. For sure. Oh yeah, mud tunnel. This yeah. is the shortest one. Yeah. Out of rock tunnel. I read all the FRA reports on the, on the DNS fire. And? You know, I gotta actually say I agree with the FRA on I do too. Well, um, it came down to their fire patrol. Yeah. They weren't, they weren't adequately prepared. They weren't adequately trained. Exactly. We take our fire patrol. Seriously, yeah. And, you know, for years and years, people are like, why are we doing this all this? Why are we doing it all this? Uh, yep, all this fire. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, now we're going to up. Yep. That's why they're turning 497 down oil burners. 18th is still there. They're turning into a freaking K35. At least 2,000 pounds of traction for it. Yeah. Summertime, you can swim in it. It's like a pool. Now, 
Look at the other trees. Look down at the valley. So this is the center of the valley. Well, not here. I want you to go past. Farther out, yeah. So the captain told me to connect to El Mocha. Back to Chama, but I'm going all the way now. Oh, good. It's time for a change. I've if seen you're, her. If you're hanging out, and are you taking the bus back to Chama? Yep. Okay. I was gonna say if you're hanging out, you can slide you down. Because um, what time does the bus? What, what time are we due to get in? Five, I think. And the bus leaves, gets back to Chama at six. Oh yeah, that's right, huh? Yeah. So we don't even have much time to look around at Antonio, do we? Not really. I'd say if you if you hurry, the lighting will be real uh, will be real nice to get some shots of one sixty eight. And the rotary, because that's out. So they had to clean out the boom box to make sure that the uh, Yeah for the rotary, yeah. Yeah, they could make sure that it was all ready for the inspector. So I guess we got that job. You I feel sorry for you. I thought it would take two hours I thought it would take two or three hours at the most. It's really? only two days. Two days, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, we missed it earlier through the um, before we got to Osher. Two planes flew right through the canyon. Oh, cool. Yeah, we had two Air Force. Did you see what kind of planes they were? They had four propellers on them. Oh, probably C-130s. C-130s, yeah, I think that's what it was. They test in here all the time. How are they able to fly through here with these? In a way. Um, they can't. Not really. No. I mean, they're just flying through the narrow canyons. Built They'll turn them on their side and fly and pull that door. Now that is amazing to see. And how they navigate it to the other side oh, yeah. without crashing. Well, that's the whole. This is a whole training ground for them. Yeah. For uh, Afghanistan. And Baghdad. Yeah. The first time I all the way through, huh? Welcome. Thanks. This is my home side here. Yeah. See, I'm at, my home side is Chama. Oh, cool. I'm in Albuquerque, so three hours away. Yeah, bad. At least one good thing is, yesterday I was out pulling weeds. Mm -hmm. The cold triple track was so bad. Oh my goodness. It's still worse. There's double the weeds that I pulled. Remember the fence? Yep. Oh, cool. How's it going? Good. How's it going? Oh. Fine. Oh, 
Oh, oh Phantom Curve or yeah. something like that? Yeah. yeah. Where all that the hang out here for Where all the derailments happen. Oh no, that's uh that's uh oh yeah, derailments up at uh Phantom. Yeah. But uh the real thing was that Toltec or the what's that called? Calico cut, I've been over there. Calico cut, yeah. That has been given us pain for uh, what, hundred thirty hundred and thirty nine years now? Because of that cut? Sliding down on it. Oh yeah. I mean, you can see it. This one too here. Not as much. No. Whatever happened to those cars after the accident? I guess they were scrapped. Oh, they're still coming. Huh? The uh, sheep cars? Were they sheep cars or passenger cars? Uh, which accident were you talking about? Because there were two that happened. The one that happened at Phantom Curve was the one train that was at night coming through. Uh, the um, the head-on? 169 and 411? Yeah. Uh, 169 is actually an Alamosa. I know it's an Alamosa. Uh, so they pulled that one out, but I'm pretty sure they took the torch to 411. Yeah, because um, 411 is no more. They yeah. said it's not even anymore. I'm pretty sure it's going to be busted up and keep it running. Is it, wasn't that an express train or something? Express on a freight head-on. I wonder what ever happened to the express cars. If they're uh, still down where they are. If uh, there's still freight car bodies down there. It wasn't here, it was actually probably a little further that way. Yeah. Uh, it was just it was it was between Rock Tunnel and uh California. I wonder if you guys are ever going to bring those freight cars up from down there. Uh, not. Do you think they're still in good condition even? No. I mean, we've got that, we've got better condition freight cars that need restoration here. Yeah. In the yards. Those are kind of a True. Yeah. Would it be that. worth displaying them at least? Maybe. See, I think that would be a, I think that would be more of a like a, one of the joint um, projects with the friends. Yeah, but how would we get down there exactly to go get them? Now there's the real thing. <laughs> you can't go from Osier out there. Or could you? I think you could run a, I think you could run a, um, a flat with a train, close it onto it. You know that, uh, you know that, uh, work, that work train that they have, uh, an old diesel work train from the, uh, they need to shop up in the restoration shed if you ever get a chance. Yeah, but uh, I bet you that would probably be started up on this side, pulled over to Antonito, put them up there. Yeah, but I don't think it'll happen for another 20 years if if they still at all. last this long. There we go. They're probably in worse condition than we thought. Oh, you're Phantom Curve. Phantom Curve, big, uh, big oh, dangerous yeah. zone. Oh, Phantom Curve's actually been pretty good to us. You got lucky. Yeah. All this rock likes to stay where it is. Yeah. I'll tell you, I'm going to take a quick picture and then I'll get out of your way. So that's on. Country, you know? It's God's country. Yeah. yeah. The little flat spot right there? Yeah. That's one of the little, that little uh, summer cabin. Wait, where? That little flat spot. I'd love to put a little summer cabin right oh, there. Yeah. Good luck with that. Now, where do you live? Do you live in Antonito? Yeah, in Antonito. Yeah. And you do this all summer long? All summer long, then I go back to Dallas. Are you going to school out there or to your family? Nah, it's just where I live right now. Oh, okay. I'm from Houston, Texas. But I'll probably be moving somewhere out west after this. Oh, really? Yeah. How far out west do you want to go? I don't know yet. I might even move up to New England somewhere. It all depends. My wife's still in school. She's on her last semester of her neuroscience degree. So we're looking at grad school for her right now. Not bad. So it depends on where. Yeah, it does. It also depends on the money. Yeah. <laughs> Who will pay her? Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Let's push her up. 
almost to 80 pounds of pressure. What's up? We're almost to 80 pounds of pressure on the brakes. Fill them back up. Huh? Fill them back up. Yep. And it was at 90 when we got up here. With that to the closer. RGS 20 is back at um, Colorado Road Museum. Oh, really? He's back. Oh, nice. They're finishing up the rest of the work there. And they did a steam up test on her. Ooh. She can run under her own power. She's right. certified at 120 psi, Ooh. is what she's certified at. That's not bad. No, and but she's coming here. Power. We actually have you plans. Her? Yeah. Well, she's that. not completely finished yet. They don't have the cab on her yet. There's still other things to put on her, but yeah. How long should be on, how long she been underway? I I say many months. Strasburg had her for a while. Strasburg you said? Strasburg did the full main boiler work. Ah, uh, Strasburg was doing all that. Yeah. I could have sent her here. I guess we would have need more staff, but sure. we're hoping to one of these days be off like that for the especially for the narrow gauge stuff. Yeah. Cool. Must be coming up to something for them to be whistling. Stand right here. Huh? Stand right here and we'll stop going into the tunnel. Oh, that's right. My tunnel. Yep. Okay. Pass 311. Huh? Pass 311. Yep. Mile post 311. I'm going after RGS 41. They never run that engine anymore. You want to buy it? Uh, I'm actually trying to acquire it. DNF shop crew own it. Really? Yeah, they're old timers that like, used to like, still work at Drango own RGS 41. So they're just loving it basically, I mean basically it's a static model over there. It runs. Oh, it does run. Yeah. But I want to get it out of there and turn it back to coal. It's an oil burner. Wow. It shouldn't be too hard to turn it back to oil. Only oil. Trick coal. The only locomotives that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as it. Huh? Only engines that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as it. I don't like what they're doing with their uh, K-37 over there at the DNS. Well, they have to because of that lawsuit. Right in the fire. Oh, they have to fire it. Oh, yeah, here comes my tunnel. Yeah. They said DNS started it. Yeah, they did. Yep. For sure. Oh, yeah, mud tunnel. This is the shortest one. Yeah. Out of rock tunnel. I read all the FRA reports on the on the DNS fire. And you know I gotta actually say I agree with the FRA on the I do too. Well um it came down to their fire patrol. Yeah. They weren't they weren't adequately prepared, they weren't adequately trained. Exactly. We think our fire patrol Seriously, yeah. And you know, for years and years people are like, why are we doing this? Yep. That's why they're turning 497 down the oil burners. 18 crew is still there. They're turning to a freaking K35. At least 2,000 pounds of traction force by their oil burners. True.
Careful up there.
pulling it to the Antonino, end of the line. Four ninety four, uh, or four ninety five. Eight. 